Hello my beautiful people, you all are welcome to Believer's Love World Message Studio and if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this, if you are posting on this channel and kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And if you like what we're doing on this channel, that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee, then kindly use the thanks button below, we we'll gladly appreciate it. And on this message today, we'll be talking about how to receive the great, how to receive great measure of the anointing. And our man of God, Reverend Grace Oyakilomi, is going to talk more on that topic. So please do well to watch this video to the end. And if you have anything to tell us about this video, about this message, ask me, this message has been a blessing to your life, then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section. And do not forget to share this message as well, for it will help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world. And it will also help this channel to grow. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, in the story that we're reading, God wanted David to have the opportunity to recognize the anointing. And then what will you do with it? Your response to the anointing will determine how much of it you will get. You see that? That is what will determine how much of it you will flow in. You know, some people say, oh, they'll go to America and say, can you just pray for me? I just, want to, I just want to have the power. You ain't get nothing more than what you already have. Why? Because the anointing comes through service. Service, that's number one. Two, when you recognize it, you submit to it. Now let's look at this. David is here facing a great temptation. This is on his journey to authority. He's going to become king. God's way. Let's go back to that first. You ready? Verse 9. Destroy him not. For who can stretch for his hand against the Lord's anointed? He said, and be guiltless. I want you to notice it. He didn't say he couldn't destroy him. David didn't say, Abishai, I couldn't destroy him. You could destroy him, but you will not be guiltless. That means God will go after you. You pay for it. He says, destroy him not for who could go or harm. Who will harm the anointed of the Lord? Stretch for his hand against the anointed of the Lord and be guiltless. Whether you are stretching your hand against the anointed of the Lord with your tongue, with your pen, or with what is the same. You cannot be guiltless. In church, or in Lagos, I teach the people certain things. I tell them, when you're out there, at work, at home, in the street, anywhere you are, you hear people criticizing ministers of God, I say to them, don't join them. Be wiser than them. Because you want the word of God to be productive in your life. That will, that will be your edge over others. Something they don't know that you know. I tell them, never criticize ministers. Stay away from it. When others do it, stay away from it. So that the word of God that you are learning will produce results in your life. I tell them, don't join them. Don't join them. They've never heard me say an unkind word against those who even criticize me. 
So I tell them, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Because you want the word of God to produce results for you. So don't do it. Hallelujah. That's what I tell them, don't do it. And that's what I tell you now. You've got to be smart. When you find people criticizing ministers of God, shut your trap. Get out of there. They try to drag you in, say, look, I, I, I don't engage in such discussions. You say, it's a matter too high for me. It's too high for me. It's too high. I'm sorry, what do you say about that, Pastor? Say, it's too high for me. Walk away from it. And you find the anointing of God rest in you, like David. You see, Abishai was nice. He was he, he felt it that this man wanted to kill David, and here was the opportunity. He said, Look, let me kill him for you. God has availed you of your enemy today. Let me do it once. I'll strike him. Ah, just what? David said, Don't do it. Who would stretch it? He stretched for his head against the, no, the Lord's anointed and be guiltless. So let's get out of here. But just for him to know we came, take that and take that and let's go. <laughs> then he cried out to the king. First he called Abner. Why, why didn't you protect your, your master? <laughs> you can read the rest of the story. Very interesting. But you see, um, Recognizing authority. So God gave him the opportunity and he passed the exam. And there's where many people fail, but David passed. David passed. You see, he behaved himself wisely. And he was honest about it. He meant it. When you study in uh, chapter 1 of 2 Samuel, you find where King Saul died. A beautiful portion of the Bible. Saul and Jonathan died. during the war and uh, you know how Saul died he actually asked someone to kill him and the guy wouldn't and he ran into it himself and died then somebody thought he was going to get a pat on the back from David who would be king and came to David and said master master today is your day what is the matter? He said, King Saul is dead. And so is Jonathan. He said, is that the truth? Yes, sir. Who killed him? I had to take, I had to kill him. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> because they knew that David and Saul were not friends at this time. And he thought that for like everybody else, David ought to be happy that Saul is dead so he can become king and then he'll get his reward. And so David said, you killed him? He said, yes, sir, I had to. He said, are you telling me that you were not afraid to kill the Lord's anointed? He said, are you, are you telling me that you killed King Saul? The anointed of the Lord. He said, your own mouth has testified against you. That you killed the Lord's anointed. You see, the, what I want you to say was, the respect that David had for the anointing. He said, you, you are not, he said, you were not afraid to kill the Lord's anointed. You did it. First, he asked someone to kill him. And that one came out. <laughs> killed him straight. That settled that. He said that he really wanted to know, is it true? When it was confirmed, oh, let's read that portion. <laughs> 
Second Samuel, chapter 1, verse 11. Did you see that? David moaned. He tore his clothes. That man was his enemy. But David wasn't thinking about that. He thought about the fact that this man was anointed of God. That was the point. Let's read on. Verse 12. <laughs> read this next part hmm? and I want you to think of the fact that David is making this lamentation about a man that wanted him dead all right verse 17 down been anointed with oil that, that that's the line i want you to notice this was the thing that made david weep said the shield of the mighty vilely cast away the shield of saul as though he hadn't been anointed with oil in other words david knew that there was a different kind of death for an anointed person. He says Saul died as though he was not anointed with oil. And oil in the Old Testament, you know, symbolized the, the Holy Spirit. He got his attention. He wept. He wept. Respect for the anointing. You want to be a minister of God? You got to respect the anointing of God. You have to recognize it first. Recognize it. Because many don't recognize it. Many don't recognize it. Sometimes I, I think about some people. I say, when when you take the responsibility to even insult a minister, don't you know when something? Take for example, some of you have been here at the healing school. The the things you've seen, the things you've watched, the things you've observed about the ministry. Are these things ordered by themselves? Could they be human? 
Do you, does somebody have to tell you that this thing is divine? Can a man do this? Okay, thank you all for watching that wonderful episode. And I believe that message has, has blessed your life. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, I don't want to miss messages like this that we're posting on this channel. And kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so I'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee and kindly do hit the thanks button below we'll gladly appreciate it and keep watching we love you stay tuned till we see you next time and please do not forget to share this message for it will help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it will also help this channel to grow thanks for watching once again stay tuned till we see you next time we love you and god bless you